a pleasure to be here. Thank you, Carl, for having the Federal Register here uh, today, and uh, thanks to John for hosting this, and thanks also to Beth, uh, who uh, has uh, offered uh, leadership and uh, unfailing support to us over the past uh, year and a half as we've tried to make progress with uh, delivering uh, the Federal Register in a, in a more user-friendly way. Uh, July 26 marks the 75th anniversary of the creation of the Federal Register. Uh, the Federal Register is a landmark achievement in open government, transparent government, and in the right of the public to participate in the processes of government. Uh, July 26 marks that 75th anniversary, and on that date, we intend to roll out Federal Register 2.0. Uh, a year ago, uh, GPO and the Office of the Federal Register worked very diligently uh, with Beth's help, and we were able to put our uh, Federal Register data in XML. Uh, we were immediately overwhelmed and impressed with the work that Harlan uh, was doing at uh, Princeton, what the Gov Pulse guys were doing, uh, what openregs.gov.net uh, 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 was doing, and, and the, the broad uh, uh, reception that uh, we met with uh, putting our data out there in XML. Uh, it immediately inspired us to look to the day where we could offer a more modern, user-friendly, uh, visually attractive, and dynamic uh, edition of the Federal Register. And that's, it. that's what we intend to roll out on July 26, uh, the 75th anniversary. Uh, we've been working carefully with the Gulf Pulse guys who, who are our are, are rock stars. Uh, and we are their groupies because they are helping us visualize dreams that, uh, that we've had for years and can now see coming to fruition. So uh, we, we thank them for, for all of their effort and what they've shown us uh, over the last eight or nine months is, is truly remarkable and we're really excited about what they're doing with, with, with us. Uh, I think we should take a moment to remember the circumstances under which the Federal Register was created 75 years ago. It was a disgraceful episode in the history of a nation who claimed to be a nation of laws. The circumstances that led up to the creation of the Federal Register were such that neither the President nor the federal agency which regulated a community, nor the community that was regulated knew what the law was. And hence, there was a lawsuit initiated by the regulated community, and in the course of that lawsuit, we learned that a nation of laws did not know what the law was. It gave rise to the Federal Register, uh, a vision of, of Griswold, Frankfurter, Brandeis, and Roosevelt. And I think, for me, they were the natural of the 1930s, not Robert Redford, because their vision was, build it and they will come. And surely that is what happened. After 75 years, we can now point to a Federal Register that is downloaded last year over 310 million times. We're on course this year to exceed 380 million downloads of Federal Register documents. So we're really excited about the future. What we know is that most of our current users are repeat users. They're folks who are sophisticated and are familiar with the regulatory process and it's essential to them that they keep track of the regulatory uh, happenings every day. We want to deliver that to all Americans. We want to, with pardon from, 
from Carl. I'll pull out my iPhone again. <laughs> we want to put the Federal Register and the Code of Federal Regulations in the pocket of every American who can carry around or chooses to carry around a smart de device. Uh, we've already got a vision of that with the Open Regs guy. You can get their app for free at, at Apple. I encourage you all of, uh, all of you to do that because we want to see that 380 million go up to 400 million and 500 million. A special thanks to our partners at uh, GPO. Uh, we've had a 75-year partnership with the government printing office, and I think it's probably one of the most amazing partnerships in the annals of government. We have to produce this publication every day, and therefore we can't bicker, although we try to. We have to work because the pressure of the deadlines require that we meet our mission and, and meet our commitment. So a thanks to GPO for what they're doing and have done. A special thanks to Mike Wash for all of his leadership and help over the past 18 months as we've moved ahead. Thank you. Great. Thanks so much, Ray.